He looks up to see light streaming out of an open door at the side of the hall as a young maiden walks slowly through it. She is carrying a golden chalice that flashes and sparkles with gems. And so much light pours from the grail, it is as if the sun has come out. What marvel is this? It's strangely familiar to me. Yet I wonder, who is such a beautiful grail for? Where is that damsel taking it? Whom does it serve? I wish I knew. But Gornaman warned me not to speak too much. If I ask, it may seem impolite. The wounded Fisher King watches Percival, but when he remains silent, the king claps his hands and the servant bring in the first course of their meal, roast venison in peppered sauce and clear smooth wines to drink. Percival is so hungry that the arrival of the food distracts him for a moment from wondering about the grail, and he eagerly eats and drinks. But then the grail draws nearer as the maiden carries it between the fire and the couch where they are sitting. It is coming closer. I don't know why, but when I look at it, my heart feels full to overflowing with joy. Percival gazes, mesmerized by the sight of the grail, but his host shifts uneasily and leans back in the pillows. They are both sitting on the same couch, in the same place, but each sees from a very different space. For this timeless field between the worlds is where all the possibilities of past and future congregate and can be accessed. That's right. Try to get comfortable. Lie back down if it helps. How are you feeling? Much the same. Empty. Futile. No matter what I do, I find no satisfaction. Nothing I eat fills me. The only time I find any relief is when I go fishing. Oh, yes, yes, I know about that. But fishing only ameliorates the symptom. It cannot cure the cause. In fact, often it entrenches it. But it's all I have. What do you think about those dying cattle? and the crops that fail. That's not my fault. I cannot help the turning of fickle fortune's wheel. Have another helping, my friend. He eats and drinks, and well he may. The food is fit for a king, but he remains silent. I want to be worthy of all the honor my host has shown me. Should I say anything? The grail is so beautiful. I see sapphires, rubies, emeralds, and the gold is of the finest, and yet that is not why it is beautiful. It is the light it brings, and the sense that, that everything, anything is possible, is good, is full, is, maybe I should ask, but I don't want to spoil things. How do you feel about the wars that are waged across your lands? All those who die in the fields of battle, in the trenches and the Blitzkrieg, at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. What choice did I have? Destiny was at work and people had to learn the hard way. What about the millions who perished in the gulag, the gas chambers, the mass executions? The death of one man is a tragedy. The death of millions is a statistic. She's taking the grail into another room, on the other side of the hall. I wonder who is in there. Oh, and with it goes the light, and the sense of... I know! I will wait and ask one of the serving lads in the morning. That way I won't seem rude to my host, but I'll still find out. Why do you think all those people lost their homes, their jobs, their savings, their pensions? A hedge fund is... is a maze around a bet. Do you know why you did all these things? Do you know what you wanted? Yes. No. Did I do all that? Well, I had to, didn't I? I had to hold on to power, the power to force a shape onto the world, to achieve utopia, the master race, to... I had to make a lot of money. I had to keep it all going. What do you think power is? It's... it's all that. It's control. Control of the masses, of the media, of the very thoughts people have. It's your word goes. It's how to tell the biggest lie. It's making it. Does it feel good? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it feels great. 
in the beginning. But then later on, well, it's the only thing that brings me any relief from this pain. Ah, yes, tomorrow, in the morning, I'll ask then. I'll find out whom the Grail serves. Percival has eaten his fill and is starting to feel sleepy and nod off when he knocks his goblet off the table and is jolted away. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I was watching. <clears throat> I mean, sorry, I think I must be tired. My good friend, do not trouble yourself at all. It's clearly time to retire for the night. The servants have made you up a bed in here, so I will now bid you good night and go to my apartments. There are more episodes to come of Percival and the Grail, and I've got a lot more to say about it. So let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>